Okay, let's start with the warm up. Lie down. Keep the legs bent. Are you able to hear me clearly? Give me a thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. Superb. Let's start. If anybody needs a cushion or a blanket under their head, please feel free to take it. Only for the bridge series, don't use the cushion or the blanket under your head. Rest the entire series you can. Okay, let's warm up. Neutral pelvis. So do a pelvic tilt to bring your back into a natural curvature. Lower back. One hand gap between the lower back and the mat. One hand. Lumbar curve and the mat. Okay. Feet pressing into the surface. Knees are pointing towards the ceiling. Palms by the sides. Chin is tucked in. Imagine holding an orange between your chin and your chest. From here, let's begin to roll up into a bridge position. Inhale to prepare. Exhale. Lengthen through your tailbone. Mildly clench your glutes and start lifting through the buttocks, lower back, mid back, upper back. Coming onto the balls of your shoulders. Keep your ribs softened and melted, and draw your belly in towards your spine. Inhale over here. Exhale and slowly start rolling down through your spine, and then your pelvis entirely onto the surface. Four more counts. Inhale and exhale. Lift up, 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 and in breath over here. Exhale and slowly rolling down. Press the palms into the surface. Take your time with the breath. This is just the warm up. And three more counts. In breath. Exhale. Draw the belly in towards your spine. Pelvic tilt. Lifting through your buttocks first. Then your lower back, mid back, coming onto your shoulders. Inhale and start melting through your ribs first. Exhale and then your lower back and then your buttocks onto the surface. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Lift up. Bridge position. Come up. Press yourself up. Thrust your hips towards the sky. Inhale here. Exhale and lower yourself. And one last time. In breath. Exhale. Lengthen through your tailbone. Pelvic tilt. Pubic bone towards your chest and lift up. And inhale here. Exhale, melting through your spine down into the surface, very slowly and gently, maintaining your legs parallel to each other. Interlace your palms under your head. Let's activate those deep abdominal muscles. Cupping your head into your palms. Ten reps of ab curls. Inhale to prepare. Exhale and lift through your head and chest. Look towards your knees. Inhale and lower your head and shoulder down. Take a long exhalation through the mouth. Deflate your belly and lift up. Inhale down and exhale up. Inhale lower yourself. Maintain the natural curvature of your back. Exhale and lift up through your chest and your ribs, not through your neck. Inhale and lower yourself. And five, come up. And inhale down. And six. And lower yourself. And seven, up. And down. And three more times. Eight, lift up. And lower yourself. And last two times, nine. Lift up and down, and one last time. Ten. Lift up and lower yourself. And from here, release your hands and lift your arms over your chest and take them behind your head. And from here, circle your arms by the sides. Circle your arms by the sides. And two more times. Lift up. We are warming up the shoulder joint. And circle the arms by the sides. One more time. Lift up. 
and circle your arms and this time reverse the circle come on take it sideways up and by the sides two more times take it sideways up and by the sides and one more time take it side and lift up and by the sides of your pelvis okay let's pick up the weights palms parallel to each other over your chest we are going to begin with dead bugs so lift your legs up into table top position point your toes when i say table top position your knees are stacked over your hips exactly in this position maintain a neutral spine those who cannot maintain a neutral spine you can slightly draw your knees in so that your back is flattened imprinted but you shouldn't be doing this okay uh, this is a hyper arch of the lower back please don't do this so either this or this okay so let's start we are going to reach with our upper, uh, right hand towards the back and left leg towards the front and we are going to alternate the arm and the leg beginning through the right arm inhale right arm back left leg extended exhale and center inhale left arm and right leg exhale center upasana can you put on the video right and center and left and center and right and bring it to the center inhale and exhale just move through your breath inhale left arm and right leg exhale draw it towards the center the other leg doesn't move while you're moving the other arm and the leg and center and switch sides and come back in and three more rounds come on and center switch sides and center two more rounds just continue in other side in one last time and in one last count and in and stay put over here you can choose to have the legs in table top or you can bring the feet down we are going to go into skull crusher just dip from the elbow and bring your palms next to your ears and up and two dip from the elbow lift up and three four the elbow is pointing towards the ceiling five six inhale and exhale seven the more you exhale through the mouth you are going to bring more awareness towards abdominal contraction eight nine ten five four three two one last time one keep the hands there itself lower your feet and from here we are going to go into chest press so open your arms by the side open them wide open and bring them together and two open them to the side and center parallel to each other and three and in and four and in and five come on open up six center and seven if anybody feels tired they can just take a break rest it out and resume the workout again nine and then never fall short of breath please remember the exercise rule five and six well done girls and seven come on and eight 
Just give me last two. Nine. And one last time. Ten. And relax your arms by the side. From here, just begin with bicep curls. And when you do the bicep curling, we are going to go into the bridge position. So you curl and you lift into a bridge. Okay? Pushing your tush up. And lower yourself and uncurl. Be very slow and gentle in this movement. Awareness onto your pelvis so that you do the pelvic tilt and then curl yourself up. Okay, let's start. Inhale to prepare. Exhale into a bridge and bicep curl. One. And lower yourself. Release your hands. And two. Come on, lift up. And release your hands and lower your pelvis. And three, come on, up into a bridge and bicep curl. And uncurl and lower the pelvis. And four, go at your own pace. Everybody's pace might be different, it's fine. And six, come on, up. And down. And seven, up. And lower yourself. And eight, up, and lower yourself, and just give me two more, nine, and uncurling and lowering, one last time, ten, and lower your arms and come out of the bridge, and from here, you are going to bring your arms over your chest, from here, just watch me first what I am doing. You are going to lift up through your head and chest and draw the knees towards your chest in tabletop. So inhale it and exhale it. Inhale and down. A very controlled movement, okay? Not doing this. Not moving through the head and neck. In a very stable and controlled, centered fashion, everything working through your abdominals. Inhaling to prepare and taking a long exhalation through the mouth. Exhale, lift both the legs up and draw the arms by the side. Look towards your belly button. Inhale and down. And let's start. Exhale, one. Inhale, down. And exhale, two. And inhale down. And exhale. Three. And lower yourself. And four. And down. And five. And down. And six. Come on, lift up. And lower. And seven, just keep up. And lower. And three more, eight. And down. And last two, come on, nine. And lower. And one last time, ten. And lower. And relax your arms by the side, catch your breath. Take a moment. Let's go back again to everything. So what was the first practice we did? Dead bugs, everything we are going to go through again. Okay, second round, let's begin. Bring your legs in tabletop position. Arms over your chest. Dead bugs, opposite arm, opposite leg reach. 10 counts, let's start. Left arm and right leg, one. And center. And switch sides, two. And center. And three. Come on, just move along. And center. And four. Come back in. I'm watching. Well done. Five. Center. And six. In. Seven. Just breathe in and breathe out. In. Eight. And in, and nine, and in, and just balance it out, 10, and in, and relax. Be there and go into skull crushers. You can lower your feet or be in tabletop position. It's completely up to you. Start, one, 
Bend through the elbow, tip your palms next to your ear and lift up. And two. And up. And three. Straighten your arms. Four. Up. Five. And straighten. Six. And straighten. And seven. Lift up the arms. Eight. Straightening the arms. Two more. Nine. And up. One last time. Ten. And up. And let's go into chest press. You can lower the feet or stay there or add extra challenge along with it. That is legs. So straighten the legs up towards the ceiling 90 degrees. And open your arms and open your legs into a wide V. Completely up to you, whichever variation you want to choose. And press back in. And two, open up. And in. And three. And in. And four, come on, open. And come back center. And five. And center, very nice. Six. And center, breathe in and breathe out. Seven. And in. Last three, come on. Eight. And center. And last two, nine. And center, one last time. Ten. And in. And lower your arms by the sides. Drop the legs. Coming onto your feet. Bicep curl and bridge combination. Let's start. Tuck the chin in. Inhale and exhale. Curling through your bicep and lifting up through your pelvis into a bridge. Inhale and exhale. Lower yourself. And two. And release. And three. Up. And release. And four. Up. And relax. And five. Up. Come on. Really fire up those gluteal muscles. And lower yourself. And six. Belly engaged. And lower yourself. And seven. Up. And down. And three more. Eight. Lift up. And down. And last two. Nine. Lift up. And down. And one last time. Ten. Lift up. And down. And let's prepare ourselves for ab curl. Legs together. Okay, so we are going to lift the legs up and lift through our hands, head, chest all together. Inhale to prepare, exhale and up. Hands by the side. Inhale down. Exhale and lift up. Inhale and lower yourself. You can have your hands over your chest or behind your head. It's completely up to you. Exhale up. And down. And three. And down. And four. Walk through your chest and your ribs. And five. And six. Seven. Last three, eight, come on, lift up. Give those abs a little crunch. And nine. And one last time, ten. And relax. Everybody take a break. Catch your breath, just relax, release the weights. Turn on to the sides. Come back 
back on to the back again come on to your forearm let's work on to the side keep the legs bent and don't sink towards the ground stay lifted up if this is this position is difficult you can always lie down onto your arm okay this way and do the same practice exactly what we are doing onto the forearm okay open your leg knee pointing towards the sky take your hand over your ear and we are going to bring our elbow towards our knee so let's start inhale and exhale and down and two and down and three down four five six how well coordinated all of you are on my screen it's looking beautiful seven and eight and nine one more time ten and relax let the hand be there itself lie down straighten your leg and you are going to lift up the leg and press the palm towards your foot okay so completely on to your side line making your body parallel to the long edge of the mat inhale and exhale one and take your arm over your ear and two and release and three and release and four release five relax six and relax and seven seven release last three eight and relax just last two nine and release and one last time 10 and release and from here turn on to your chest and pick up your other weight as well we are going to do the swimming with the weights if anybody feels too much tension on the shoulder or the neck you can just do it without the weights okay so you are going to look down stay lifted with your head and shoulder and you are going to take your left arm and the left leg a uh, right leg sorry and drop it down and change and release okay got it if you think you cannot pull through with the weights just do it the arms and the legs you leave the weights aside okay everyone each to their own inhale and exhale start one whichever side you are starting doesn't matter and two and three the head shouldn't be falling back towards your back and four lift up through your thigh and lift up through the crease of your buttock five and six longer deeper inhalations and exhalations seven and eight just give me two more nine and one last time 10 and relax rest your head onto the surface and bring your hands by your sides and the palms are curled around your waist and facing towards the ceiling from here we are going to go into tricep press pull the belly in away from the mat into your spine lift up through your head shoulder and chest and from here only the arm movement pressing the arms up now once again you can do it without the weights okay let's start 1 2 3 press up 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax.
relax rest your head towards one side come up on to all fours position weight into your right hand left hand can be free if you wish you can have the weight into your other hand also and press with your knuckles into the surface okay completely up to you if you feel comfortable so we are going to go into opposite arm opposite leg reach lifting through your right hand and the left leg and relax and lifting up and relax and three up and let go and four maintain a table top back no rounding and no arching of your back four five six seven Eight and just last two times nine. One last time ten and switch and change. Take the weight onto your other hand. Other hand is free. Do not lock your elbow. The eye of your elbow has to face inwards. Don't lock the elbow. Okay. Relax the elbow and from here let's begin again and. Lift your arm and the leg. One and two and four. Very very controlled and stable movement. Five and six. Well done. And seven. Very nice. Eight. Last two nine and one last time ten and relax. Just release the weight and sit back onto your heels in child's pose. And be there in vajras uh, in the uh, kneeling position. Come up. Position, come up. Overhead press. So you have your arms in an L shape. Me, can I, uh, Nidhi? Hello. Ah, uh, hello. Can I put something in uh, below the knee? Yes, yes, yes. Of course, please. Sometimes I forget to mention. You can, but is me knee pe pressure nahi aayega, Smita? Nahi aayega. Okay. We are not doing anything on the thighs and the knees. Only the arms. Okay. Overhead press. Let's start. Lift up and exhale by the sides. Two and sides. Three. Take it to the side. Four and lower and five. Six. Seven, no hyper arch of the lower back. There is a general tendency in this position to just give up on your abdomen, which starts dropping towards the ground. Please maintain the belly held in. Nine and ten. Give me five more. Keep up, arms parallel to the floor in line with the shoulder. Ten, yes. Five. Four, three, two, one last time. One and relax. Arms by the sides. Just be there. Take a break. This is the last series. Then we'll go on to the side and finish it off. Just keep up. Okay. From here, arms. Parallel to the surface and swinging them towards the side. Let's begin. 
Belly held in towards your back, please. Come on, start. One. And towards the side. And two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, five, four, three, two, one last time, one, and relax. Let's come on to the side line, on to the other side. We have done a full body flow. Working on the upper body and the abs. This is the last for today. You can choose either onto your forearm or you can lie down. Knee facing upwards. Lift your arm. Position yourself. Look beautiful. Look graceful. And feel good into yourself. Inhale to prepare and exhale. One. And two. And three, no moving of the head and neck. Four, no turning of the pelvis towards the back. Face your two hip bones in the front. Three, four, I think I lost the count, but let's do it now. Five, six, seven, Eight. Just last two times. Nine. And one more time. Ten. And relax. Low, lie down. Straighten your legs. Lift your arm up. So you are going to press the palm towards your lifted leg. Let's start. Inhale to prepare. Exhale and up. One. And two. And three. Come on. Up. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Last two and we'll be done. Nine. And one last time. Ten. And relax. Okay, this is the last for today. The finisher. Pull over. Lie down onto your back. You can grab the weight like this or like this. One weight. Either both the ends of the weight into your two palms or clasping the weight with both the palms, either of the two. So what we are doing is pulling over, inhaling here and exhaling and down. Now those who cannot lift up fully, even halfway this much is good enough. Only this much. Tail your shoulder blades. Okay, reach in. Your feet shouldn't be lifting up, please remember and no pressure from the neck and no fast movement. It's the slow which is more effective, okay? Work through the abdominal muscles, feel them working, okay? Let's start. 10 counts, inhale to prepare, tuck the chin in, exhale and up. And up. And two. And up. And three. And lower yourself. And four. Lower yourself. And five. Rolling yourself up and rolling yourself down. This is actually.
halfway. Lift halfway and give me tiny pulses. One, two. Look towards your pubic bone. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Woo well done, everyone. Put the weight aside. Let's stretch. Wipe off your sweat. Keep the legs bent. Hands in line with the shoulder in a deep position. Dropping your knees and thighs towards any one side into a spinal twist. Keep drawing the shoulder down into the ground. Let's go on to the other side. And come back center. Straighten your left leg. Hug your right knee and your thigh into your belly and your chest. Pull it in. Deflate your belly with the weight of your thigh. Keep drawing it as close as you can and keep lengthening through your left leg, pointing and flexing through your foot. And straighten the right leg, grab behind your right leg, lift up through your head and chest, closer to your leg and pull it towards your face. Flex and point through your foot. So. Push the toes away from you and push the heel away from you. Keep flexing and pointing. This is an amazing stretch for the leg. And please. Straighten the right leg. Hug the left knee into your chest. Pull it in as close as you can. And keep lengthening through your right leg. Straighten the left leg, grab it, lift through your head and chest, closer to your left leg, pull it in, flex and point through your foot. And relax. Hug both the knees and the thighs into your chest and rock and roll like a ball. Anybody having lower back issue will not do this. Rock and roll for four to five counts. And one last time. Come up into a sitting position. Cross your legs. Palms onto your inner knees. And from here, just go into cat cow stretch. So you're going to inhale and come forward through your chest, extending through your back, pressing the elbows back. Exhale and draw the elbows closer to each other, chin in round through your back. Inhale, just articulate your spine into a movement forward and back. This is an amazing spinal movement. Excellent for mobility and flexibility. Just keep on moving, especially those who are sitting for longer hours. And one more time. Come back center. Inhale and lift your arms up, lengthen through the sides of your trunk. Exhale, lower your right hand by the side and bend towards the right side, taking your right arm away from you. Reach with your left fingertips towards the side and keep drawing the knee towards the ground. And come up with a deep inhalation and exhale and go on to the other side. 
not tighten or grip any body part. Whenever we are doing stretching, allow your muscles to relax. And come up. Bring your arms in line with the shoulder, palms facing upwards and press the arms towards the back so that your shoulder blades come into each other. Chest popping towards the front. From here, hug yourself. Once again, open your arms, press them back. This time, when you hug yourself, change the crossing of the arms. And hug. And open your arms. Take your right hand across your shoulder and press it in with your other hand. You can choose to drop your head towards your right shoulder, giving a neck stretch. And relax. Other side. Drop the head towards your left shoulder. Intermine your palms and turn them out. So press the fingers inwards as if you want to break your fingers. Keep pressing them in. Keep lengthening through your arms. Inhale and turn your torso towards the right. towards the left. Exhale, center. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale and bend forward completely into a forward bend, pushing your buttocks down, releasing your arms. Be there. You can bring the head towards the surface. Try going down as much as you can. Keep lengthening through the spine and keep pressing the buttocks into the surface. Feel your sit bones digging into the ground. shoulder rolls. One, two, three. Fully press them back and down. Four, five. Feel your scapula circling and towards the front. Five, four, three, two. One last time. One, and relax. Just turn your head towards one shoulder. And towards the other shoulder. Bring the head in, tuck the chin in towards your chest. towards the back. And come back center. And we are all done for the day. Thank you so much everyone.
Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely evening ahead and a good day next day. All of you did very well and it was so coordinated today. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Thank you.